Welcome to my lecture. Today we are going to see how to use standing moment diagram to solve your problem in flywheel. Okay. Let me read the problem. The standing moment diagram of a four stroke engine is assumed to be represented by four triangles. The area of which from the line of zero pressure are suction stroke 440 mm square, compression stroke 1600 mm square, expansion stroke 7200 mm square, exhaust stroke 660 mm square. Okay. Each mm square of area represents 3 Newton meter of energy. If the resisting torque is uniform, determine the mass of the rim of a flywheel to keep the speed between 218 and 222 rpm when the mean radius of the rim is to be 1.25 meter okay this is the tanning moment diagram of a four stroke engine okay here the cycle completed in 720 degree that means 4 pi okay and the areas of suction compression and exhaust are below the this zero pressure line okay that means they are negative and during the expansion stroke we have got the positive energy so this triangle should be above the zero pressure line okay now the area are the suction stroke has 440 mm square compression stroke has 1600 mm square and the expansion stroke has 7200 mm square and exhaust stroke 660 mm square okay the other data which are provided are the first one is uh, the scale of uh, tanning moment diagram okay so each one mm square in the tanning moment diagram represents three newton meter okay and the radius of gyration is given in the form of mean radius okay so we can take the radius of gyration as the mean radius the maximum speed is given as 222 rpm and the minimum speed is 218 rpm so by using these two data we can find out the coefficient of fluctuation of speed okay so because we are provided with this range okay directly we are not given any data relevant to coefficient of fluctuation of speed okay so by using this maximum and minimum speed we are going to calculate the coefficient of fluctuation of speed okay so for that we need to find out the mean speed mean speed is n1 plus n2 divided by 2 okay so that is 220 rpm and the coefficient of fluctuation of speed is n1 minus n2 divided by n okay 222 minus 218 divided by 220 it is 0 0.0182 okay and omega value can also be found by using the mean speed 2 pi n by 60 which is 2 pi multiplied by 220 divided by 60 23.04 radian per second okay so now we are going to calculate the mass of the flywheel okay let us solve the problem so this is the tiny moment diagram of a four stroke engine and we know that the work done is exactly equal to the area of the tiny moment diagram okay this shaded area represents the entire area of the tiny moment diagram okay so the area of suction stroke plus area of compression stroke plus area of expansion stroke plus area of exhaust stroke okay the areas are 440 mm square for suction stroke and 1600 mm square for compression stroke 7200 mm square for expansion stroke and 660 mm square for exhaust stroke okay so here we have to be very careful while substituting this value because these three areas corresponding to suction compression and exhaust are negative okay so they are below the zero pressure line okay so they should be represented in negative minus 440 minus 1600 minus 660 on the other hand for the expansion stroke we have to put that as positive 7200 okay summing of all those value we have got that the work done is 4500 mm square okay so we need to convert that into newton meter so initially in the problem we are provided with the scale values okay so each mm square represents 3 newton meter so 4500 multiplied by 3 it gives 13500 newton meter so the work done during the entire cycle 
is 13,500 Newton meter. Now let us see how to find out the T mean value. Okay, so we know that the work done is equal to T mean multiplied by theta. Okay, so here theta is the angle tan during the entire cycle, which is equal to 4 pi. Okay, so here we are going to substitute these values. Work done is 13,500. T mean value we are going to calculate and theta value is 4 pi because it is a four stroke engine okay and the cycle completes itself for every 4 pi revolution that means 720 degree okay so T mean value is 13,500 divided by 4 pi and it is equal to 1074.3 Newton meter so now we have calculated the T mean value is equal to 1074.3 newton meter and this is the t mean line okay so now let us see how to calculate the t max value because if you want to calculate the maximum fluctuation of energy we must know these values okay so to find out the t max we have the area of expansion stroke which is 7200 mm square okay so the work done during the expansion stroke can be found by multiplying this value with the scale value that means each 1 mm square represents 3 newton meter so 7200 mm square multiplied by 3 gives 21600 newton meter okay and we are going to apply an another formula to find out the work done during the expansion stroke that is t max times theta okay so here we are going to calculate the t max value already we know work done during the expansion stroke that is 21600 newton meter the only thing we need to find out here is the theta okay so how to find out the theta so this distance okay that means from this point to this point okay so the entire region is pi okay so this region covers pi by 2 okay so theta value here is pi by 2 okay that means 90 degree so we have to put that in radian that is why it is pi by 2 because t max is obtained exactly at this point from this point to this point the entire crank angle is pi by 2 so we have to substitute pi by 2 value here okay to find out the t max okay so now the t max value is 13000 751 newton meter okay so now let us see how to calculate maximum fluctuation of energy okay so we know that the area above the mean torque line represents maximum fluctuation of energy here the maximum fluctuation of energy is represented by the area of ced so this shaded area represents the maximum fluctuation of energy okay so if you want to find out this area we need to know this distance that is cd so only after knowing this distance then we can calculate the area of this triangle so for that we are going to apply the similar triangle concept okay so the triangle a e b and the triangle c e d are similar triangles okay so we are going to apply the relations okay so cd divided by ab which is equal to eg divided by ef okay so this is the ratio relation between these two triangles okay because the smaller triangle ced lies within the larger triangle so we can apply the similar triangle concepts okay so from this relation we can calculate the cd value so cd value is equal to eg divided by ef multiplied by ab so okay so here so eg value can be found uh, by using t max and t mean value okay so we know that t max is 13571 and the t mean value is 1074.3 okay so this length that is eg can be found by using these two values 13571 minus 1074.3 okay and for ef we know this value it is t max value 13571 okay multiplied by ab so ab is the 
this entire length okay from 2 pi to 3 pi that means it is pi okay so the cd value can be found as 2.89 radian okay so now we are going to use this value to find out the area of this region okay the region which represents the maximum fluctuation of energy okay so the area of CED is found by using this relation that is it is a triangle so of BH of B value is already found that is CD okay so 2.89 multiplied by H H value can be found from these two values T max T mean okay because this distance is the H value is exactly equal to T max minus T mean okay so by substituting this value we can find out the maximum fluctuation of energy okay the Le value is 18057.73 Newton meter so we know that del E is equal to mk square omega square cs so by using this relation we are going to calculate mass of the flywheel okay because del E value is known and k value is given and omega value we have already calculated and cs value also we have initially calculated by using n1 n2 and the mean speed n okay so now the only unknown is m so the mass of the flywheel is 1196.2 kg thank you